Hi Tally Hoes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new, hello, hi, or welcome. My name is Tally Sharp and it would mean the absolute world to me if you hit that subscribe button and became part of my Tally Ho community. We do a plus size fashion, we also do some vlogs, and I try and keep it exciting for you guys, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Today we have another Sheen haul. I feel like I've learnt from my last one. Um, if you've watched that, then you know I'm new to Sheen. This is my second proper order with them. And I learned a lot from the first one because pretty much nothing fit. So I still haven't taken my measurements. And I know a lot of people are coming for me in those comments saying that you need to know your measurements. But my measurements fluctuate. So continuously measuring myself just doesn't do it for me but it is good to have like a rough idea and that I do have I've been using the size chart a bit more and I genuinely think that this is going to be a very successful haul okay so before we actually get into this please make sure that you thumbs up this video because that way I know that you want more sheen hauls so the first thing I actually want to talk about is this trend going around where you put that on your head and then you like curl your hair around it I tried it last night, check out my upcoming weekly vlog to see how I actually did it. But this is the results. I'm kind of pleased, but I'm not sure what's going up on the top half. Like, I'm not very good at styling the top half of my head. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Very uncomfortable to sleep in, can I just add? <laughs> so basically all of these three came in a set. So you've got some scrunchies, You've got this and then you've got a clip as well. A little technique that I've figured out is once it's in your head, if you wrap the back bits and clip the back, if you're using it during the day, I think it's super, ooh, super efficient way to just keep that out your face. So the first thing that I got is this black dress. This is unbelievably comfortable, stretchy, it's ribbed and it's good quality as well. It's got a slit here. It's not too short, gives me enough coverage. It's short sleeved and it's got this contrast stitching all the way down here and on the neckline as well. I'll leave everything linked down below all the names, sizes for you. I'm pretty sure that I got this in a 4XL, literally fits like a dream. I would either wear this with some black chunky boots or I would even go tightless with some Jordans or some sandals. The world is your oyster with this one, I love it. So next we have this bikini swimsuit Oh my God, this is so comfortable, guys. It fits absolutely perfectly. I got this in a 4XL. The bikini top is actually slightly too big, but I feel like if I size down, it wouldn't have fit right. It has got padding in here, which I would normally take out. It's got really good support. It's a racer back, not a halter neck, although it looks like a halter neck, so it's super comfortable, doesn't hurt your neck doesn't have to do too much supporting from the neck, which always hurts. This is what the back looks like. This was $18 and it comes as a set. Very happy with this one. Oh my good God. Now, Chelios, if you need anything from this haul, it's this. This is so much more of a successful haul than my last one. I actually wasn't too hopeful about this swimsuit because it is a halter neck. For the moment, it's not hurting my neck at all. Maybe within time it would. It's actually pretty supportive with how big and heavy my boobs are, so I'm very happy about that. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this print. It comes as a three-piece set. It's the floral print tie front halter, bikini swimsuit and beach skirt. This was $19. Wait, I did get this from the UK site, so I don't know why that's coming up. Hmm. And I got mine in a 4XL, I'm super happy about it. This is so cute and I cannot wait to wear this. I'm gonna have to book another holiday. So next up we have these shorts. I originally thought it was a skirt when I opened it out of the packaging and then I was putting my legs in them and I remembered they were shorts, which makes it a lot better. However, 
I think these are a fraction too long on me that I just look a bit frumpy. I'm gonna put you down a little bit more. So it's just a little bit frumpy. It makes me look kind of weird. <laughs> but I still think it's really, really cute. I like the pattern of it. I would wear it with like a bikini top and then maybe like a shirt on top with some cute flip-flops for a holiday. It's that really nice airy material gonna keep you nice and cool. What do you guys think? Do you like me in these? Shall I keep them, shall I not? I think they're cute. I don't know, they're growing on me. But I also look really weird. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I guess because it's so flowy, that's probably why I feel like I look a bit weird. Because this is how they look on the model. Okay, and I don't look that good. So maybe potentially I should have sized down because we've got a lot of room in here. I got these in a 5XL. I think that's probably what it is. Also with the way that the model styled it would be cute with some wedges and then like a straw bag to match the wedges. So kind of going on the same theme, we have these trousers. I kind of love it, especially with this outfit, a nice chunky chain necklace with a bag and some wedges or something. I think that's really cute. It is very long on me. I am 5'2 if you're new here. So I would need to get these taken up a little bit unless I'm wearing like really big heels. I'd say for me, there's too much gapy material in there. And then they just look a bit too baggy on my legs. Am I still gonna wear them? Probably, let's be honest. Sorry. I don't need to say anything. This does it for me, I think. It's got pockets as well, guys. And it's a really nice airy material again, pretty much same material as those shorts. It's too much material here, but there's not really gonna be a chafing problem, I don't think. So that's a good thing. And I got these in a 5XL. Just thinking, would I even wear this with like a denim jacket? Probably. Next up, we got same but different again. Now these, <sighs> If you just want something to fit perfectly, to be comfortable, then you definitely need a pair of these. Honestly, these are just a throw on perfect fit. For me, they are the perfect length. I'm assuming if you're gonna be any taller than 5'2", then potentially they're gonna be way too short for you. And then the other pair are better. But these, they fit so well. I got these in a 5XL. Next up, we've got this graphic crop top i love it i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm gonna style it yet maybe if i have some like red trainers i think that would be quite cute like not completely red like white and red like white and red jordans or something i think that would be cute mate or some like leather pants heels red i was gonna say red blazer but hell no i wouldn't wear this with a blazer it needs to be like really like fierce or really cash, in my opinion. But it fits really well. I think I probably got this in a 4XL. I think I just got everything in a 4XL because of last time. And then I've got these shorts. You can kind of see where they end. They are raw hemmed, which I absolutely love. They fit like a glove. I was a little bit worried they weren't gonna fit, but they do. This is what they're like at the back. And these shorts are very, very comfortable. And no chafing problem because they've got the perfect length. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these shorts this summer. Next, I got this really oversized t-shirt, thinking with some baggy trousers, like jeans, and then my blue Jordans. I'm not 100% sure how I'd actually look. Like, you know when you envision something in your mind and then you wear it and you're just like, <laughs> no. Hoping that's not the case with this, mate. But otherwise I can just use it as just like a chilled, oversized t-shirt. Pretty sure I got this in a 4XL. Fits perfectly, let's see how long it goes. And now we have a dress. We have the first no of the haul. That took ages. I'm very quite proud, <laughs> but we've got this like, oh wait, it might not be a fail because she's actually, okay, you can ignore me because I've done this wrong. So there's hooks at the side here that you can put this through and then it creates this at the back and therefore it wouldn't have this gapey 
gapiness or would it i think it might still have a little bit of gapiness here but it would fit a lot better on the back and it's completely mesh which i wasn't expecting so i've got just a black swimsuit underneath but it's this beautiful textured dress it's got a nice slit it is a maxi on me i'm confused how it's not see-through on her. To be honest with you, I'm still gonna keep it because what you could do is you could, first of all, just like safety pin it like that. That gets rid of the gapiness. And then wear it as like a cover-up on holiday, but I think it's gonna be quite hot because it is actually really thick, but it's see-through, like it's mesh. But at least for sizing, it's perfect. I got this in a 4XL. Next up, we've got this dress. This is ribbed, it's a really nice material. I'm not sure I 100% like it on myself. It definitely does hug you. It's got no slit, it's full maxi dress. It is a halter neck. The only thing is if you left this to have the full support of your breasts, it's really gonna hurt your neck. I have still got that racer neck swimsuit on. Ooh. That looks good. Call me. But on the back, you can obviously see the racer back. It goes really, really low. So not the best for the big breasts because all of the support is gonna be just from the dress. But other than that, it's beautiful. I would probably wear Spanx with it just because it is very figure hugging. And I got this in a 4XL. Let's just take a moment. I'm hoping the camera's picking up just quite how amazing this set is. Tally hose, this is the softest, nicest ever material. I don't even know what this is, let's find out. Oh, I think this is sold out, hopefully. It will be back in stock by the time you guys watch this. Why isn't it showing me info? So it says it's polyester. It's also got 5% elastin. I don't know, but this is so, so soft. You can fold it up and attach it to this button. It's not see-through, it's not sheer. I was personally thinking this for a beach cover-up, but you could definitely wear this with some sandals to go shopping. You can style this shirt in so many different ways. Oh, honestly, I'm in love with this. I changed what I said earlier. If you need anything from this haul, it's this set. It's so, I love the material. This is gonna be my go-to beach cover-up shirt. I just know it, I can feel it. Hopefully I don't get yellow on it. Like, you know when you go on holiday and you get it a bit yellow? Hopefully that doesn't happen to this. This is cozy as well. Let's give the shorts some love because it does come in a set. Here are the shorts. It's literally perfect. You can even add some white heels, a white bag. A white bag, some sunglasses. Oh, actually, I got some new sunglasses. So these are like the fake sort of like Gucci, the JLo vibes. We love JLo in this building. Okay. No idea what I look like because the screen's so far away. Let me go check. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you at the beach bar in five. What? I can really see clearly out of these. Sometimes I struggle if something's too dark. Wait, I'm trying to get the name of these sunglasses up for you. They don't feel as expensive as the other sunglasses that I've got from Sheen. Okay, these were literally £3.75. They're called the Square Frame Fashion Glasses. So good. She's a man to make you work hard, make you sweat hard, make you work for hand in love. Ooh! Na -na 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 -na. Okay, stop. So we're gonna move on to a few more accessories because I wanna show you and I actually wanna try them on. I got these teddy bear slides. I thought they were so cute. This actually rotates, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was gonna be just like inbuilt or maybe I could put them that way actually. That might look cuter. These I'm expecting to feel like I'm walking on clouds. Oh, these are comfy. But for some reason, they're just a bit bulky. <laughs> They're bulky, so 
My feet look huge. Like there's almost too much material going around it. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, these are cute. Very cute. These were seven pound. You can get them in black and you can get them in khaki. I got mine in khaki, apparently. Wait, in these glasses it probably looks khaki, but like that it looks cream. But anyway. Next I got two pairs of clips and stuff, mate. I've seen everyone wearing these, so I wanted to get on the, the bandwagon, basically. I do actually think these will come in handy when I'm... <coughs> these aren't good. <laughs> these aren't what I thought. No, these are too small. Oh, no. No, the clasp is too short. But anyway. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. These aren't quite what I thought in my mind they'd be. Then I got this five set hair clip thing. You can never have too many clips. Like, and now, no matter what outfit I wear, I've got a clip. So the next two things that I got is this handbag. I don't have any green handbag. I've got one pair of green heels, which actually this matches the color to perfectly. And then I also got these trainers, which look so small. <laughs> one sec. Oh yeah, perfect for me. <laughs> These trainers, they've got memory foam inside and I just thought with a blazer, maybe like an all black look or like some black cycle shorts, black racer top body or actually it would go better with like anything. You could wear it with also leather pants if you, no, maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, I was thinking this as a set would go cute. And then I also have some green heels for the bag. So it's kind of perfect, really. I should probably take these sunglasses off, but I feel like I'm attached to them already. Then the next two things that I got are sets of tops. I think they're crop tops. First, we've got this mock neck crop top. I just think this would go with everything, wouldn't it? Denim shorts, like I've already shown you guys. Leather shorts, cycle shorts, any shorts. Jeans, literally any jeans. Blazer, job is a good one. Ooh, ooh, this material is beautiful, mate. So next we've got this quite bizarre cutout body. Let me try and scoop my arms in to show you that. Look at this. I think I might try this one on because this one's kind of hard to hold. But then I need a strapless bra with this because obviously this shoulder is completely out. It's a beautiful stretchy ribbed material, literally my favourite material ever. Then we've got this one, pretty standard, pretty basic, something that everyone needs in their wardrobe. And then, okay, so it's like two and two. So then this is like the other material, the white one. What's going on here then? I'm confused. Oh, okay, cute. So basically this is the set, it's a set of four. You can kind of see what the white top would look like actually. So maybe I won't try it on for you, but I'm sure you're gonna be seeing this on the gram in every photo, because it's always good to have basics in your wardrobe and then you can style it with everything. Moving on to this set, we've just got a basic white crop top is the same material, super stretchy, ribbed, soft. And then we've got the same in this color. We've got the same in brown as well. And then we've got the same in black. All in all, this was a very, very successful haul. I'm really happy with everything that I got, especially this set because I mean, <laughs> I'm going to take these off now to do the outro properly. So that is everything that I got from Sheen. I'm actually getting better at these. So potentially my next one is just going to be out of this world. I kind of feel like this one was already out of this world. Do you know what I mean? So if you liked it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. I love you so much. I only want to continue making content that you want to see. So thank you for sticking around, putting up with my madness. I'll see you very soon for my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Ciao. Bye.